Hey everyone, it's easy. Welcome back. Today we're doing a video, a comparison video. It's on the HP HB attack versus the Laloon attack. Uh, the HP HB attack is uh, uh, an up and coming, uh, really effective three star attack for Town Hall 9. Uh, you can use it in Town Hall 8 too. It's been around for a little while, but now since the buff to the P.E.K.K.A., I think I believe there's been two buffs in the last two updates. This attack has been a lot more viable. Uh, this attack right here is more or less you're going to use a, a big kill squad with P.E.K.K.A. Healer, Bowlers out of the Clan Castle in Town Hall 9, some Wizards to help with the funnel. Uh, you can use uh, different troops to help funnel, and this attack right here, which is by Neon Knight, he uses uh, some Baby Dragons to help with the funnel. Remember, the funnel is very important in this attack. You, you have to get the P.E.K.K.A. inside the walls. If not, they're just going to walk around the outside of the base and just get beat up. So you want to get him inside the base. You, you want to use, um, you want to bring ra a rage spell, a jump spell, depending on the base. You know, the, the base is going to dictate the, the jump spell or not. But you definitely want to bring at least one rage spell, and you want to bring a couple heal spells for the, for the second phase of the attack. Now, the second phase of the attack in all of these uh, examples today, they're all going to be hog riders. Hog riders are great to use in Town Hall Eight and Town Hall Nine. Um, I've also seen this attack uh, use use um, baby dragons to clean up at the end and also use balloons so you have a lot of different options if you decide to go with balloons instead of the hog riders you're gonna want to bring the haste spells or uh, or maybe another ra rage spell other than the heal spells but since uh, these are all gonna have the, the hog riders I would suggest bringing two heal spells just to try to cover as much of the base as possible um, now the main body of troops or the, the beginning phase one of the attack with the P.E.K.K.A. and the healers and the, and the heroes Your objective is is you want to pull the clan castle troops and kill them You have to, you have to take out the archer queen. It would be nice to take out the Ar the bar barbarian king and If you can tr if you can trigger one set of double big bombs or maybe uh, trigger several of the giant bombs uh, That's helpful too now the the hog riders they had a buff and they don't get times 1.5 damage on the giant bomb so uh, going over a set of double giant bombs doesn't necessarily kill them uh, but it will damage them enough to where they run into one splash damage defense like a wizard tower or the bomb tower and they're done so you want to definitely have a heal spell and at town hall 9 they can have two sets of uh, double big bombs or do double giant bombs so that's why I would suggest having at least two of those heal spells. Um, so, a few objectives. One, you want to get a good funnel. Two, you want to get the P.E.K.K.A. inside the base. And on that note, you also want to try to protect those healers. So, when, when you're picking your entry point on the base, um, be mindful of where the air defenses are. Okay, so we'll, we'll go back to that attack here in a few. We're going to go switch over to the Laloon. Laloon's a really popular attack. There's tons of coverage on it. Every person that does YouTube videos has covered the Laloon. Um, the reason is is because the balloons got a huge buff. They dropped that first bomb really fast. Uh, this is the elite attack in Clash right now. It's used at every Town Hall level that has balloons. Uh, from Town Hall 8 that has level 5 balloons. All the way up to Town Hall 11. Uh, and in these uh, examples, they're all Town Hall 9. Town Hall 9 is probably, in my opinion, the best Town Hall to use the balloons in. Um, they're just, I, I believe that they're level 6 at Town Hall 9. They're level 6 at Town Hall 10, too. So that's why I think they're so good in Town Hall 9. They're the same level as Town Hall 10. Um, so, in this attack, the key to the Laloon, the key is simple, the execution is difficult. You want to put in two Lava Hounds on the first air defense. You want to send balloons in to try to get the balloons up to that air defense before they pop. Then those Lava Hounds are going to move on to the next air defense. And as the Lava Hounds are moving from air defense to air defense, you'll add the other Lava Hounds as uh, backup for the Lava Hounds that are popping. They pop into, into babies, into, into pups. Um, so... The trick is, is that you want the Lava Hounds to stay whole while they're over the air defense, but you also have to have them pop because you need the pups to clean up the base. So there's kind of a little uh, balancing act between keeping the Lava Hounds alive long enough to help uh, sh shield the balloons from the air defenses, but you don't want them to last the whole attack because if you have four Lava Hounds left at the end of the attack, 
there's a good chance you won't be able to clean up the whole base. So there, there is um, there is a lot of skill to these attacks. That the Laloon is not a drop and go attack. I, I know that anyone who's watched the attacks on their base. I'm sure you've seen people drop four lava hounds at one time and drop 25 or 30 balloons at one time in a big giant line and then use rage spells and haste spells and, and they three star your base and you think oh this is how I'm going to do it. That's rare to get the three star. Um, if, they have, if they're doing that to you, you've done something wrong, sorry, but you have um, in, in the arrangement of your defenses. Um, once you you need to watch these attacks in your base everyone and, and arrange your defenses to where they're not able to just spam you with these balloons and three star you you should you should um, be pay attention to the pathing of the balloons and have them path around the air defenses in other words you'll have defenses in front of your air defenses so they'll have to go to the cannon from the cannon to the archer tower to the mortar to the wizard tower before they want to come on down to the to the air defenses it's a tricky thing it's easy to say it's hard to do uh, so this next attack right here we're already halfway through it but this is another ground attack and again the key now see this base right here is a, a perfect attack for the HP HB attack because it's very there's, there's not a lot of walls um, you know these these bases are really popular and uh, the, the theory behind it is because there's no walls the troops are going to just go th throughout the inside of the base and circle around the whole inside of the base uh, before they go to the core but uh, pe what people will do is they'll time their attack and not put everything in at once and they'll clear out a big section and they'll put some troops in on a delay those troops will go right to the core they'll take out the core so in Town Hall 9 I would never suggest doing this island type of base it doesn't work in Town Hall 9 all that you're doing is making it easier for your opponent to go through because there's no walls. Um, it doesn't work very often at all. Especially to a good attacker. A good attacker is going to eat this kind of defense up. So, in this attack, you funnel the troops into the base. And for those of you who don't know what a funnel is, I'll explain that real quickly. Uh, a funnel is when you'll use troops to clean out uh, these, these buildings on the outside of the wall. And you'll leave like one building in the middle of the section of wall. And then you'll put your all your troops on that one building and once they take out that building there's nowhere for them to go on the outside of the base they have to go into the walls the next closest thing is what's right on the other side of the wall uh, that you can use a wall breaker to open up the wall uh, you don't really need wall breakers in this particular attack because the packer you have three two or three of them in this attack if you have three of them they're gonna they're gonna all get up on top of each other and they'll one shot the almost any wall you know um, they're they're very very powerful troops uh, they they were really slow moving and really slow swinging but after the last couple of buffs that they've got they've changed their attack speed and they, they swing a lot faster um, at first they up they buffed them to where they did the same amount of damage per second but they just swung faster but now they've actually given them a little buff on the, on the damage too so these are really viable troops now didn't see them in war a lot and now you're going to see them in Town Hall 9 all over the place they, and they're going to be a nightmare for you to try to defend against um, cause it, because the one thing that helps you is the uh, skeleton traps the ground skeleton traps but you know with Laloon so popular who's going to set their skeleton traps to ground I'm not <laughs> so okay so this uh, this is a Laloon again now this is another popular base that people have a lot of trouble with uh, again, because the troops don't have walls that they're to, to, to bust through, so they just walk around that whole section in the middle before they go to the core. But with Laloon, the walls aren't relevant. So start off with two Lava Hound on that bottom left air defense, two Lava Hound on that top left air defense. Once the uh, those two air defenses were taken out, the balloons end up right in the core. Put a Rage Spell in the core, and they, they push through the core real quickly. Now they're on the back side of the base, on the back side air defenses. And just use another raid spell when they're over the air defenses. And again, you have to be mindful of those lava hounds. Um, if you if you watch if you're watching the lava hounds and watching the health on them, hold up on that on that uh, raid on that raid spell those hay spells, and let that, especially on the last air defense. I know this is might be confusing, but if you have one or two lava hounds left and you're on the last air defense don't rage those balloons up over to the air defense and take out the air defense let it sit there and, and, and beat on that lava hound for a little while until it pops you need them you need the lava hounds all to be popped by the time they hit the last air defense 
in most cases. I know if the air defenses are all close together and you have a big portion of the base to take care of still, then in that case, that's an exception to the rule. You don't want to pop the last lava helm then. You're going to need it to tank some of the other defenses. But if they're all split up like it was in that base, um, by the time you get to the last air defense, you only have 25% of the defenses left. You have all these troops left. You really want the lava hound to pop, and you want the lava pups to be out there um, because there's so many of them, and they team up with the minions that you bring in, and they're teaming up with the balloons, and they're just chopping through all these, the base real quick. Now, the last two attacks are both on a very similar base. This is a very popular base in Town Hall 9. It's the, one of these four corner bases where they have these little channels on the outside. They put all kinds of traps in these channels. Now with the ground attack, I always try to come into one corner and coming into corners of bases are really dangerous because the troops can go around the outside. But in this base right here, you break into one corner, use the wizards to clean out those troops on the outside. And as soon as there's no troops on the outside, you can put the peckers in on the corner. They go right into the core of the base. Uh, didn't need a jump spot because you can put the rage right there on, on that first part of that uh, inner wall. And that rage spell is going to push those Pekka straight through that wall. Once they get into the once they get into the core, they're going to start wrecking the core. Um, as soon as the clan castle troops, as soon as the queen, as soon as the king, as soon as those three objectives are down, you can start with the second phase of the attack, which is the hog riders. Um, and by now, I've already had the hog riders in the bottom compartment. They've already been in the left compartment. Uh, I made, there was a little tactical error made in this one because I didn't see the king so the king is still up and he's just been beating the crap out of those uh, uh, hog riders um, now he's fortunately the hog riders got a little a little buff with, with them too so they're pretty sturdy even with the king the king's not one shot in them um, don't know if you ever actually one shot him but, but a king can take out 15 hogs if you let him so you have to be careful with these heroes that hogs will not defend themselves they're defense only troops and they won't defend themselves till all the defenses are down so uh, the archer queen has this huge range the, the king has this huge range so if they lock onto the hogs they'll follow them around forever and they will literally just wipe them out one troop can wipe out all of your hog riders so as strong as they are, as good as they are to, to three-star these bases, you have to be mindful of when you put them in. If you put them in too soon and your heroes are still in the base, the heroes can lock onto the hog riders and take them all out. It's a big mistake I see a lot of people make. Um, I know that there's a lot of people that are trying to educate themselves in clashes. You know, people are learning these different attacks, they're trying different attacks. So I see all these different attacks done by all skill level players. And when you watch the, the, the guys that don't, don't have it all down quite yet, the first thing that you see, the first mistake you see them make is they put the hog riders in when the heroes are still up. And the heroes wipe them out. And there, there goes your, you don't even, it's not even a three star you lose. A lot of times they'll lose the whole attack. So be mindful on your second phases of these attacks. Uh, make sure you accomplish your objectives with your kill squad, with the first phase. Make sure the clan castle troops are dead. Make sure especially the queen is dead. She is she is vital to take care of with the kill squad. Now, just as I say that, <laughs> and now in the Laloon, it's a little different. Because the Laloon has a secret weapon. And that's the, that's that Lava Hound. Once the, the queen, if the queen locks onto the Lava Hound, something crazy happens. And I'll show you what happens in this, in this uh, example right here. Same base right here. Now... What I'm trying to do here is take the heroes and, and start funneling with the heroes So I take the king and the king goes all the way down the, the bottom right hand side of the base and takes out all those outer buildings The queen because the king cleared out for her, she was able to pop her ability and took out that whole corner So that whole corner is almost gone. She didn't quite make it to the air defense But she took out that whole corner now you put put in two lava hounds and the first two lava hounds They put in went right to where the queen was and now you heard me just say you don't want to put in your troops before the uh, while the queen is still up, but she locks onto a lava hound and shoots at it until it explodes. And the second it explodes and turns into pups, you can you can throw a rage spell over it. Then there'll be all these there'll be ten or twelve rage pups, and they will all target the archer queen while they're raged, and they will kill her really quick. So you don't have to worry about the archer queen quite as much when you're going to be using four or five lava hounds. You just want to start off by sending the Lava Hounds right to the Queen. And, and again, that's, a, that's kind of a risky tactic. But a lot of times, these Town Hall 9s, they're smart. And they'll put the Queen in the dead center of the base. And you have to dig her out. And you dig her out with, with the Lava Hounds and with the Pups. So, 
at this point in the attack, uh, attack's almost over. Use the last, save that last haste spell. Use it right there in the last compartment. Uh, it came down to the very last defense that can shoot down air targets. Didn't quite go down with the balloon, but there's about 15 or 18 troops left, all pups and minions. Um, I know it's called La Loon, but I always like to bring 5 to 10 minions to help the, the, the pups clean out the base. Another 3 star, the, the, La Loon's OP, man. It's, it's, it's so good. If you, Everyone that plays this game that's Town Hall 8 or above has to learn how to do the La Loon. It sucks at first. You're not going to 3 star with it. You're not going to star with it. You're going to really, really get disappointed at first. But after about a month, you'll get it and you will love the fact that you practiced it and you can do it. So... Thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate you guys that are still here and stay to the end. Uh, we're going to be doing another video on the HPHB. Uh, I'm pretty interested in this. Uh, we have another war coming up uh, tomorrow with uh, GB Elite. So for those of you that have been watching the channel for the past few weeks, look forward to that tomorrow. Um, again, appreciate everyone. Until next time, it's been easy.